It seems like 2022 is treating NCIS fans nicely. They're finally getting the crossover of their dreams, and they couldn't be happier. Unfortunately, one of the NCIS stars burst the fandom's bubble of happiness with some devastating news. What did they say? You'll have to watch today's video, where we talk about what the NCIS star revealed about the crossover with NCIS Hawaii. First up, the crossover is announced. Ever since the spin-off's release in 2021, fans have been desperately looking for a crossover between the two. Fortunately, their prayers were answered back in January 2022, when it was announced that the two NCIS stars would be making their way to the Aloha State to shoot the crossover episode. The news was announced by Wilmer Valderrama over at Instagram, who plays Agent Nicholas Torres in the series. He posted the video where he said that he's heading off to Hawaii to shoot a crossover event. That's when Katrina Law, who plays Jessica Knight on the show, appeared in the video. She told fans that she would be tagging along on the trip as well. She said that it'd be good to be back on the island solving crimes. For those of you that missed it, she was referring to her time as Quinn Liu on Hawaii 5 -0. The video then cuts to Yasmin Al-Bustami, who plays Lucy Tara on the show, saying, the more the merrier. Vanessa Lackey then chimed in, saying, time to be a good host. What do we know so far? Unfortunately, we don't know many details about what exactly will go down in the crossover. We do know that the episode will air on March 28, 2022, Monday. Back in January, when the crossover was first announced, showrunner Stephen Binder was asked about what he had planned for the crossover. Unfortunately, he didn't reveal much. What's more disappointing is that back then, he hadn't even talked to Chris Silber, the showrunner for NCIS Hawaii, but Steven was optimistic that it would all work out, since he had known Chris for a long time. Considering that we're getting the episode details at the end of this month, it's safe to assume that it's all worked out for sure. What did Brian Dietzen have to say? This is where actor Brian Dietzen comes in. Many fans were looking forward to seeing him in the crossover, but in an interview with TV Line, Brian revealed that he would not be in the Hawaii crossover episode. The news was shocking to say the least. Brian did not give much of a reason as to why that is. The actor revealed that he was asked about the crossover at the beginning of the year, and he said, sign me up without any hesitation. It later came down to Will and Katrina going. He thinks Diona is going to do a scene as well, but in California. With that said, he won't be appearing this season, but he's got hope for the next one. Brian thinks the next crossover will happen either at the beginning of the season or at the very end. Fans are obviously devastated by the news, since most of them really wanted to see Brian in the crossover. But it seems like we can't have all the good things in life. We're waiting for the time we can see Brian in a crossover, but until then, we'll enjoy watching Will and Katrina bringing their characters to life on the big screen. Now that we've discussed the crossover, let's dig into other NCIS news. NCIS Season 20 Renewal News CBS renewals are usually announced in March or April, so now would be a good time to start discussing the prospects of an NCIS renewed for Season 20. Many fans were concerned that with Mark Harmon leaving the show, the ratings for the show would sink, and the network wouldn't be interested in making a 20th season. Despite those fears, the numbers for season 19 didn't plummet. The last episode managed to draw in more than 7 million live views, which is great to be honest. What's more, the episode scored a 0.5 rating on the 18 to 49 demographic. Compared to season 18, we did see a 20% demo in viewers, and there are a number of reasons for that. The departure of the show's lead, aka Mark Harmon, being the first one. It's also a natural drop that we mostly see with shows that end up running this long. Still, the numbers are not bad considering that the rest of the cast wants to come back. Season 20 looks like a sure thing. The network will surely have fan support, since no one wants to part ways with their favorite agents, and they can always invite back Mark Harmon to boost the ratings. Next, new NCIS LA episode. The latest NCIS LA episode left fans stunned. In the episode titled Where Loyalties Lie, Callan, played by Chris O'Donnell, was at the center of it all. Maddie Deeks, played by Eric Christian Olsen, along with his wife Kenneth Bly, played by Daniela Rua, decided to sell their bar after suffering damages brought on by the pandemic. Deeks was holding back on telling Callan who lived in the apartment above the bar. With him as a tenant, Deeks couldn't sell the bar. Kenzie pressured him to break the news, but he still could not gather the courage to do so, which is why Deeks was more than happy for a distraction that came in the form of a murder investigation. When the investigation ended, Deeks finally told Callum the bad news, but surprisingly, he took it well. He was, in fact, happy that Deeks and Kenny were letting go of a financial sinkhole. Now this is where things get interesting, as we found out that Callum's face and voice were, in fact, stolen using futuristic tech. Whoever the impersonator was, he even managed to deceive Callan's doctor. Fans were obviously left in disarray after that jaw-dropping cliffhanger. They took to Twitter to speculate about who's after their fave now. Some of them have had enough with the show putting Callan through all sorts of trouble. We'll just have to see what happens to him in the next episode. Next up, Brian Dietzen as the show's writer. We've seen Jimmy Palmer evolve as a character over the seasons, and it seems like actor Brian Dietzen is following a similar trajectory in his professional life. Brian co-wrote the episode titled The Helpers, which aired on February 
February 28. Brian is the first actor to co-write an episode in the two-decade history of the show. There'd been other actors like Rocky Carroll who tried their hand at directing, but none of them had the honor of writing for the show. Deaton had previous experience of writing features along with some shorts, so he definitely had the skill set to pull this job. Deaton said that the creative element of coming up with something and putting words in the mouth of these characters is something that he's known intimately and so closely for many years. So it made a lot of sense for him to try his hand at writing an episode. Even though he was skilled and had the go-ahead from showrunner Steve Binder, Brian was still hesitant about the whole thing. He said that they have the most talented and underappreciated writing staff on television. So he thought that him being a writer for an episode might be seen as hubris. With that said, he didn't want to overstep any boundaries. However, before the pandemic hit, he had a life-changing moment where he had a dual embolic stroke in his cerebellum. He said that his hands were all curled up and it was terrifying. He remembered being rushed to the hospital and thinking to himself that he didn't have a career anymore. He was going to have to focus on writing now since he can't speak. Fortunately, after three and a half hours, the blood clot in his brain passed, but the realization that he needed to pursue his writing dreams did not. The episode he ended up writing for turned out to be a riveting one. We got to see Jimmy and Cassie face grave danger following exposure to a deadly toxin. Coincidentally, Palmer's daughter was visiting the office the same day, and we got to see some emotional exchanges between the two. All in all, the episode was very well written and showed off Brian's brilliant skills. Lastly, Fornell's return. The rumors are true. Joe Spano will be once again returning to NCIS and taking on the role of Agent Fornell in the upcoming episodes of Season 19. Agent Fornell has been a fan favorite since the pilot episode. Joe was not a series regular, but he brought his own spark to the show with Agent Fornell's character, and fans do miss him. He left the show back in Season 18 following the death of his daughter. He'll be making a comeback now. The news was confirmed by Brian Dietzen, who spoke to TV Line. Unfortunately, we won't be seeing him along with Gibbs anymore since Mark has long left the show, so we can expect things to be a whole lot different. And that's a wrap for this video. Are you excited about the new crossover episode? Will you be watching? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. We'll see you next time with another video. Bye now.